how to add a before and after slider to Squarespace. Now, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you all of the steps that you need to know to add a before and after slider to your Squarespace website. Okay, so to jump right into this, the first thing that you need to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. Go ahead and open this up. And that will take you over to this site right here called ElfSite. Now, ElfSite is a really fantastic tool and software that basically allows us to get access to different tools and different widgets that we wouldn't usually be able to get access to with Squarespace. And this is what we are going to be using to get the before and after slider. Now, Something super cool about ElfSite is that you can sign up for free. So all you need to do is enter your email in right here, click on start, and then you can go ahead and sign up for ElfSite. Okay, now once you have done that, once you have signed up for ElfSite, all you then need to do is click on widgets at the top right here. And that is going to take you over to the widgets area. Now, you can see these are all of the widgets that we can get with ElfSite. There are a lot of these that you can choose from and a lot of these that you can play around with. Uh, however, in this video, we are specifically looking for the before and after slider. So just type in before into the search box and then we can go for the before and after slider. As soon as we click on this, it's going to give us a few templates to choose from. So just go ahead and choose one of these templates. I'm going to go with this one. And then we can add the images in right here. And um, also, I would make sure that the image size, this is just like a quick example from two images that I saved from Google. Make sure the image size is correct. Otherwise, it's going to turn out like this turned out where, where the image doesn't exactly fit. So this is like meant to show his hair. But as you can see, because the image size isn't the same, so make sure that the image size actually fits. Okay, now, once you have the two images in right there, what we can then do is go to add website for free. And as you can see, this is going to save the widget. Now, from here, it's just going to give us a quick example of how this looks once again. If you're happy with this, click on publish in the top right corner. And then it's going to ask you to choose a plan. Now, the plan that you go for depends on how many monthly website views you currently get. So as you can see, like 150,000, you would go for the $20 one, 50,000, you would go for the $10 and so on. Now, if you want to just test Elf site to see how it works, then you can go for this free plan as well. As soon as you have selected your plan, it's then going to take you through to this screen that says embed code. And we get this code right here. All you have to do is simply copy the code from this green button, go back over to Squarespace, and then we are going to add this in. So choose whereabouts on the website you want to add this, and then we can add a section. Make sure that this is a blank section. Super important. This has to be a blank section that you add in. And then from here, click on add block in the top left corner of the section. From the menu that opens up, we just want to go for the code option. And then just double click on this. We can delete the code that's in there and then simply paste what we just copied. Now you may get this that says script disabled. And the reason that we get this is because we are in edit mode on Squarespace. However, uh, if we just make this like the size it wants to be, stretch this out all the way. Okay. As soon as we save and exit the edit mode, it's going to load in and it's going to look exactly how we want it to, just like that. Now that is how you can add a before and after slider to your Squarespace website. 